I started the Trad Thought War of 2017 by calling out some of these women in the dissident right who are fooling people, man. They're tricking you. They're tricking a lot of men into thinking they're the ideal, traditional woman when they're no different than the skank I can find in any nightclub here. In fact, in some cases, they are worse. Why am I speaking out now? And you'll see some of the things that I said. Why is this an issue now? Because I'm getting word back from a lot of people about what these women are doing and how their public face is so different than their private behavior. It is shameful how these women are tricking so many men. In the past couple months especially, word has gotten to me, not from just one source, but multiple sources. I'm getting triangulation. Okay, and you have to understand, I'm not really connected. I'm in the middle of nowhere, man. I'm in a place where like the sun goes down at 2 p.m. I don't even I haven't seen the sun in months. And it's getting it's getting to me when I'm not a central node in this dissident right movement. I'm just doing my own thing in the middle of nowhere, dealing with my own demons. And it's getting to me that this girl is doing that, that girl is doing that, that and it's multiple. And I'm thinking, but that's not what they're showing in public. So I saw a tweet tweet by this new thought Lauren Rose who from nowhere is all about I believe in my people and traditionalism she goes make women honorable again by whoring yourself in front of a camera and YouTube putting on that makeup and doing your your uh, hair to get a 99% male audience that hits you with hundreds of compliments every day. Do you know how many compliments I get in a single day? Like two. That's not enough to gas my head up. But it's an, but you give a woman a hundred compliments a day on top of the fact that she already has a vagina in the Western world, which is the highest form of status possible. On top of all her Tinder matches and all that all the beta orbiters she has in her own life. Now we're going to add thousands of YouTube beta orbiters. Holy shit. What is that going to do to any woman? It's going to turn them into a man who thinks she's hot shit. It's going to make her think she has ideas when she has no ideas. So I couldn't help myself because you know me, I can't keep my mouth shut. So I wrote, says a girl who is cultivating tens of thousands of thirsty beta orbiters for attention and money hyper laughter face. Now, what what would a traditional woman respond to something such as this? She would be aghast at, oh, look at this horrible man. Instead, no. She becomes a man herself. Why are you mad, little guy? Here, donate to my Patreon. All right, I don't have one. I'll send you a link if, when that changes. She basically said, you got a small dick. Give me money. So she's already thinking about how she's going to cash in. If, when that, that change, of course it's going to change. How is she going to be able to travel on the dime of all her male fans? And here's the big lie. She goes... Does anyone know who this is, bitch? You know who I am. Even your mom probably knows me. Don't don't try to fake like your status is higher than than mine. When we all know, we all know the only reason that you're getting a scrap of of attention is because you're the fresh young thing. You know, all the other thoughts are getting older. Rumors of them. doing whatever are starting to get out so here you are and she's 19 telling a man twice as old as she has you are a little guy she hasn't done shit except regurgitate ideas and talking points that other men have already given out she's like the she's the girl who copies the homework of a smart guy but somehow gets a better grade on it 
because the damn teacher wants to bang her. So it gives her a freaking higher, higher grade, even though her homework is a copy of a copy of what the smart guy in class actually did. And I think someone told me she's like 19. This bitch is 19. And because she's so gassed up from all her idiotic, desperate orbiters, thinks she's a somebody. And we all know if she didn't have a pussy, she would have 10 followers maximum. She would be a Twitter egg, not even a freaking profile photo. No one gives a shit what she actually says. So maybe I am a little bit angry. That here I am, actually thinking, actually using my mind instead of the devil between my legs. And here you have, she's going to have like 10 million followers soon. But we have to, I have to ask myself, if I'm honest, why am I angry at this? Why do I care if girls like her, you know, fool thousands of, of, of men? Well, it's fraud. It is simply fraud to present yourself as someone who you're not with the inevitable or main goal to earn money. It's fraud. I mean, it's way worse than a Tinder chick putting a photo when she was thin and she rolls up to that date and you're like, did you eat someone on the way here? It's worse because she is profiting from it or, or about to. The second reason why I give a damn is because I was I was fooled, man. I was dating a girl who I thought lean traditional. And it turns out that she was a crypto feminist. Yeah, she made it seem like she liked Donald Trump just as much as I did. You see Donald Trump over there. He ain't going anywhere. Turns out after all was said and done, she hates Donald Trump. A woman who was in that bed, which I don't know if you can see, for many, many times. I r ravaged her so many times I thought I knew her, but I didn't know her. She was an actress to me, man. And that's another story. I can do a podcast on that story. That's like an hour long. I got tricked. And so if I can get tricked by a woman in my bed, don't you think that a woman on YouTube who pretties herself up in front of the camera posting her cute selfies on Instagram. Don't you think she can trick a lot of guys? And listen, I made my entire living sharing the truth to men. If I don't tell you that these women are not who you think they are, then who are you going to learn that from? And here we have another one, uh, this Tara McCarthy. She says the alt-right is not about fighting feminism. It's about taking control of our demographics. You dumb bitch. How do you think the demographics get so bad? Because of feminism. Because women like you are more concerned with putting your picture out there, with building an audience, instead of doing what you think actually builds your people's demographics, which is to shut the fuck up and have some babies. OK, now, I don't care if a woman has babies or not. I don't care if a girl bangs a billion black guys, Muslim guys, Asian. Guys. I don't give a damn. But don't say you're against these things and then go in public and say how you're the ideal traditional wife when you're not. When you're not. That's fraud. Here we have another one. She goes. Alt-right is and always we be, will be full of misogynistic assholes. Never had a desire to identify with these man children anyway. Sad bunch of men to focus on ladies like Tara. It's really a shame considering how much she promotes certain I ideals. If I told you that that tweet came from a feminist like Jessica Valenti, Lindy West, would you be able to tell the difference? This is feminist language. Okay, scratch a traditional girl, one who has an, some kind of fame, and you reveal a feminist every single time. Guys, I know 
it really sucks having all these sluts everywhere, these women with no honor and no uh, honesty. And I know you really want to believe women care about you, care about your country, and they're not going to lie to you and cheat on you and not get fat after they get married to you and cuck you. I know I want to believe it too, but it's a fantasy. And this fantasy, if you believe it, you're going to get tricked either by these girls or by a girl in your life. Like I almost got tricked too. Okay. Now, some of the rumors. Okay. Now, man, it's for me, I'm thinking, should I share what I know? And I don't want to do that just because the people who trust me with this information, I don't want to put them out there, but I will say, one story in particular basically you got a girl sleeping with a felon a criminal and then going on about how she is traditional okay this i mean this really proves the manosphere alpha fucks beta fucks wait hold on <laughs> alpha fucks beta bucks to a t there's no exceptions guys there's no exceptions all women are like that. If you put all women in a specific environment, they will behave the same. No exceptions. The only exception is if she's in a really unique environment where she's not exposed to this toxic culture. But if she's on YouTube, if she's on Twitter, if she's on Instagram, if she's going to conferences funded by her beta orbiters what do you think she's doing at that conference you think she's sharing ideas to save the united states to save the culture no she's getting fucked in the bathroom okay i mean to me this was obvious but now what is happening is these these girls are gassed up and send in their beta army to me to shut me down and what I want to say. I'm speaking truth. And they're getting their really wimpy army to say, oh, Roosh is a rapist. He's a Muslim, blah, blah, blah. You know? So now if I don't say anything, then I'm just empowering people who definitely should not be empowered in any way because they're liars. So if and I know a lot of these girls are nervous right now because they're about to be ex exposed. And I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to expose an individual girl. It's not my job to do that. But that's no way to live when you're when you are tricking people and you're waiting for that moment when the truth comes out. It's it's coming. The truth is definitely coming. These girls need to own up. I mean, if I was giving them advice I would say, look, it's going to get out there. Be honest. Stop lying. Don't try to trick men. Be completely honest. Come clean. As you see, I've come clean with everything that I've done in life. All the mistakes I've done. And I continue to make them. But I'm not going to blow smoke up your ass by saying, hey guys, I'm trad now. I'm a moral man. Moral my ass. I'm perhaps one of the most degenerate men on the planet earth and hey you know i try to embrace the good side i do but unfortunately when you're living in an evil world there is no reward for being a good man i can try to do it and then i'm thinking i'm being a good man here i'm good i'm not getting shit now because the world is not good okay when the world is bad the man who gets what he wants is also bad One argument that these girls are giving to me is that I'm a bully. I'm bullying them. I'm not bullying. I'm saving them. I'm getting them away from a career that is going to hurt them. Because I'm going to tell you what is going to happen. They are presenting themselves as this ideal wife. One of these beta males is going to develop some kind of sick crush and kill them. Watch. When when she uh, is like, hey, beta, fuck off. You're a loser. He's going to kill her. One of, these, one of these days, I mean, I hope not. I really hope not. But they're playing with fire because they're playing 
with a man's ideal image of a woman he wants. They're really playing with with fire. I'd be shocked if a lot of these girls don't have to regularly block guys who are overly affectionate. I mean, why would you do that? If why would you put yourself out there, present yourself as perfect when you're not? That's going to bite you in the ass big time. And some of these girls once the truth comes out, their reputation is going to be so wrecked that even to find like a good guy, a normal guy could be a little bit, a little bit harder. Now, of course, a woman can bang a billion dudes and there's still going to be a guy to marry him. But still, I mean, you really don't, it's not going to be a good thing when people Google you and the first thing they, they see is all the men that you had sex with, you know? And tell me how I know having a name that's not good in Google plays out. It's not fun. Um, I've written about this. You know, I've written about this a lot. But people don't want to listen because that ideal is so strong in their minds. I wrote the article, Why the Female Anti-Feminist is a Feminist in Disguise. There's no such thing as a female anti-feminist. There's only a woman constrained by the ability to do what she wants and a woman who is not. If she lives in the West and she has choice on what to do and who to, who to date, why would she give that up to be trad? Why would a woman who has the ability to do whatever she wants artificially limit herself Unless she's trying to show off. That's it. And what I want to know is, you know, where are fathers? Where are the brothers telling these girls, why are you putting yourself out there? You know, this is a weird, this is a weird game to be actually playing. And it's because their fathers are not there. I think a lot of these girls had fathers that were weak and that don't advise their daughter on what they should be doing. You know, I got to be their damn dads. I guess I'm their surrogate dad. I'm your father. Do what I'm telling you. Get the fuck off the internet because you're starting to piss me off. It's fraud. It's lying. You're not being honorable at all. You are not trad. Now get out of here. Let men solve the problems that their society has. You can support us in the background. But if you're putting your picture everywhere, your face everywhere, and you're getting that money flowing so you can go travel and do some alpha fucks, I don't think so. I'm going to call you out and a lot of other men will too. So, yeah, let's kill that idea that there's a traditional woman out there. If there is, she's not going to be on the damn internet, guys. She's not going to be fishing for compliments, fishing for attention. No, she's going to be she's going to be a nobody in some kind of really particular community, church, small town. She's going to, she's the, a real trad girl is going to hate these girls, hate all the attention that they are getting when they're not being honest. And none of these girls are religious anyway. Look, newsflash, there is no such thing as secular traditionalism. Religion and tradition go hand in, in, in hand. Okay. You cannot separate them. You now, I have said that some traditional ideas are valuable, are good, but I'm not going to kid myself. You need way more than a belief in these ideas to actually live that type of lifestyle of which these girls are not. So I hope I dropped some red pills for you that these women are phonies, man, and they're going to be exposed. I'm not going to do it. I think I did enough. Now it's up to you to watch them with a critical eye. And if you give them money, you're an idiot, please. So until next time.